Hey guys, so I didn't want to waste any time. I just want to hop into this real quick. So starting off in the shower, just rinsing my body off with some water. And then to actually clean my skin, I'm going to go in with my African Net, also known as a Sapo. I have orange, purple, blue. Everyone in my household needs this to, you know, bathe their skin with because it's the truth. That's on period. So for my soap or body wash, I have been loving the Love Beauty and Planets, Maru Maru Butter and Rose. This is a vegan body wash and it smells amazing. I've been using it for years and it's literally my go-to. This smells so freaking bomb. Like you're gonna come out the shower smelling amazing after using this. So anyways, as you can see, it suds up really, really nicely, especially for a natural soap. And it is also very moisturizing. And for somebody who has dry skin, I can definitely attest to that. And what I love about my Sapo is that you can easily just get to your back and exfoliate at the same time. Super easy and convenient. Unlike, you know, traditional rags and loofahs or poofahs, I just don't rock with them, y'all. And this will really improve the condition and look of your skin, especially if you suffer from like acne scars, darkness, hyperpigmentation, and just rough skin. This is gonna help y'all. Like y'all, already I'm just so soft and just so clean and smelling so good already. So after washing my body, I like to use a shower oil, body oil, or a scrub. It really just depends on how I feel. Um, so this is a Love Beauty and Planet Rose and Almond Oil Shower Oil. This smells so good and it leaves your body super, super soft. And then probably about three times a week, I'll use a body scrub. And this one is actually from Perfume Chick. It is called Pink Sugar. And honestly, I'm out of it. Like I finished it all. So yeah, as you can see, empty. So today I just decided to use the shower oil and I put a good amount into my hands and then kind of just lather it up and then I just apply it all over my body and you will feel instant softness and just smoothness all over and it just smells so good. <laughs> like every single product I use in my routine smells amazing. So the last thing I do before hopping out the shower is clean my vagina or my lady parts, whatever you want to call it. And I like to use the Honey Pot Normal Foaming Wash. They also have a sensitive one as well. So if you have sensitive skin, I um, highly recommend this. But it is a foaming wash. It contains no parabens. It is also plant-based. And I just like to put a few pumps into my hands and just lather it up. And then I just get all in the crevices and the creases, you know. And honestly, my pum pum. My vagina, it smells real, real fresh after and just clean. So yeah, after that, I just rinse it off and then I hop out the shower. Okay, so onto moisturizing my body. This is from Perfume Chick. It is called Light Pink and it is a hand whipped shea butter, 100%. It does contain essential and fragrance oil. So this is more on the perfume side. So if you do have sensitive skin, I don't really recommend this. Then the last body butter that I love and swear by is the Kiss My Ash by Gina B Naturals. Love this. I've been using this again for years. Multiple, multiple tubs of this and I'm almost done this as well. And it's a really nice creamy kind of texture. Love it. But today I decided to use the Pink Light Shea Butter. Y'all, when I tell you this is the bomb, this is the bomb. It smells so freaking good. Like... This is a lingering smell. You will smell this on your clothes for days and days, on your sheets for days and days. But it's such a beautiful, like, feminine smell. I love it. So I just literally go ham with this, but a little does go a long way. And this is not really like a greasy type of, you know, body butter. It will leave you nice and shiny and glowy looking, but it's not too much. So I like to apply my products on somewhat damp skin and just really work it in. So yeah, I'm just really working in the product. As you can see, like I should have shaved my legs before I did this video, but I didn't. Um, so it is what it is. I did start laser. So instead of waxing now, I have to shave, which is so different for me. 
so yeah like shaving constantly is something that i have to do now which i forget about <laughs> so yeah that is pretty much what i use on my body to stay glowy all year round and just look real soft and supple you know despite having my own skin insecurities like having dark marks and bumps i just try to love the skin that i have so now when it comes to deodorant i have been using the native powder and cotton as well as the necessaire eucalyptus deodorant those are my go-to's however since i'm staying in the house i do not like to put on deodorant so i just use my lick me all over oil this is an og i love it it is such a staple scent in my collection so it is a roller and just so you guys don't get the wrong one i do want to show you guys a difference the one to the right is not the original okay i highly recommend to get the one that is darker in red that is the true scent the other one is just it's not it it doesn't smell good okay <laughs> so yeah we aren't using that we're gonna be using the original lick me all over and i like to just place this all over my neck and then i rub it into my hands and then i put it under like my armpits on my clothes and just really rub it in and this is a lingering smell as well it is very sweet so keep that in mind but i absolutely love it it will stay on your clothes for days <laughs> So yeah, I just changed into my chill day clothes and this is how my skin is looking and I'm about to chill for the rest of the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little short body care routine. This is literally what I do. I try to keep it as simple as possible. If you guys want a pamper routine, I can definitely do that as well. But y'all let me know because there's way more steps to go that go into that. So anyways, definitely give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one. I love you guys.